weighted residual method which is an approximate method to find the uh, stress distribution or temperature distribution across the element humne abhi tak we did uh, the direct method to solve the problems now we are using this approximate method to solve our problems for example hamare paas jo pehla pehli example thi jo 1.1 humne example ki let's start with that so you remember this example uh, we will do this example with by using weighted residual method but before going into the example uh, first we will have a uh, understanding of the method or the technique so the weighted residual method is based on assuming an approximate solution for a governing differential equation so let let me write the steps of what we will do in weighted residual method it is an approximation actually right approximate we will approximate a solution at the first point so approximate a solution for a governing differential equation now governing differential equation will be different for different types of problem for example this is a structural problem so for this problem the governing differ differential equation will be force and uh, related to ea delta l over l so this this type of equation we will use but that will be a, uh, we will use this equation in the form of a differential equation so uh, these are the two steps first first of all we will approximate a solution for our differential equation right for a governing differential equation uh, for a structural problem it will be this type of problem this type of equation for a problem related to thermal uh, heat and heat transfer that will be a different type of governing equation similarly for fluids related problem that will be a different type of governing equation the condition for the approximation uh, approximation is that the solution which we will approximate it must satisfy the initial and the boundary conditions we will go into the details of this statement later on now the third step we will do is substitute the approximate solution back into the governing differential equation so we will yahan pe jo humne assume ki hui hai assume kiya solution usko hum dobara apni differential equation mein back put kar denge because it is an approximation it is not an exact solution it is an approximation so back putting this approximation into our governing equation will give us an error that error is also called a residual and in the fourth step we know the what do we will do we will each residual method we will use different types of residual methods and each residual method will require so each residual method will require the error to vanish over some selected intervals what does that mean we will forcefully put the residual equal to 0 by uh, integrating it over some uh, intervals right so there are different types of methods for example there are subdomain method collocation method uh, glerkens method least square method so these are all the methods Uh, in which uh, the error is required to vanish over some selected intervals so we will have a better understanding of all these four points when we will do the uh, problem related to this uh, technique so let's start first of all from the first step uh, first step is to approximate a solution so uh, the solution which we will approximate for example we have approximated a solution uy is equal to C one y plus C two y square plus C three y cube. So this is an approximation. You can do any type of approximation you want, but there is a there is one condition to assume a uh, assume a solution that it must satisfy the boundary conditions. So first first of all, we will look into the boundary condition. What are the boundary condition for this problem? For example, for this problem, the boundary condition is that add u. Zero at y is equal to zero. So y actually u is a function of y. So at y position of y a here is zero. The position of y here is ten. If you remember the problem, so at u 
at y is equal to 0 is equal to 0. So there is no deformation when the y is 0. So this is the first boundary condition. This assumed solution must satisfy the boundary condition. So we will look into it. We will put the value of y in this equation. So the value of y is 0. 0 square plus c3 into 0 cube. So 0 multiplied with all these things will become 0. So u at y equals to 0 is 0. So this condition, this equation has satisfied the boundary condition. So we can assume this equation. Right? Let me give you another example of how to assume an equation. For example, here we have two boundary conditions that u 0 is equal to 0 and u2 is equal to 3.5. We have to write an equation which must satisfy these two, these two boundary conditions. So let me write an equation. So I with my experience have written this equation for these two uh, boundary conditions. And I think this, this boundary condition should satisfy, will satisfy both these boundary conditions. Let, let, let's check it. For example, let's put the first condition when put the value of y equals to 0 everywhere. So here it will be 0, here it will be 0 minus 2 c1 plus 0 square into 0 minus 2 square plus 3.5 over 2 into 0. So everything multiplied with 0 will become 0. So first condition is satisfied. Now we will talk about the second condition. We will put the value of 2, y equals to 2 everywhere. So it will be 2, it will be 2 minus 2 which will be 0 plus 2 square into 2 minus 2 whole square so this will also be 0 plus 3.5 into 2 over 2 so it can be cancelled this whole term will become 0 this will be 0 so it will be 0 plus 0 plus 3.5 so y, u at 2 is equal to 3.5 so this equation is satisfying both the boundary conditions so we can use this equation for these two boundary conditions so this is how we assume a, a, a solution that it must satisfy the boundary conditions. So again back to our problem. So for the, our, the, our problem we have assumed, a, uh, solu as, assumed an approximate solution and our solution is satisfying our boundary condition. Now the second step is to write a differential governing differential equation for this structural problem. So this was our equation f is equal to e a delta l over l. So in the form of differential equation we have written it p is which is the force we can write p or f anything. p is equal to e a these are the uh, these are the constants right. So d u over d y we have written it in the form of uh, derivatives. We can also write our equation, we will take p to the other side of the equation and it, this side will become 0. So e a d u over d y minus p is equal to 0. So this is the second step we have done. Now in the third step, we will back put this solution, approximate solution into our differential equation. Here, uh, here the value of u, yahan pe hum kya karenge, apni u ki value jo approximate ki hamne, wo put kar denge in this equation. But after putting this equation, there the it will not be zero. Iska inka jo sum hai, it will not be zero. But there will be an error in it. So let me write it. So here I have back put the approximate solution into our differential equation. Now this will not be equal to zero, but this there must be an error or residual in it. So this is equal to a residual. So now we will simplify this equation. Uh, you remember that area was not uh, uh, as simple to calculate in this problem. This is problem of one point, example 1.1. 1 .1 so uske the area calculate karna was an uh, was also an issue, right? So, so that W1 plus so the area formula for the area. If you remember, so we use this formula for the area over L into Y into t so this was the formula this is the formula just for the area a right then we have let's take the derivative of all this this equation so it, after taking the derivative it will become c1 the derivative of y square will be 2y so it will be 2c2y derivative of y cube will be 3y square so it will be 3 
C3 ऐसे ही आ गया थ्री वाई सुखेयर राइट एंड माइनस पी इज इक्वल टू द रेजिडुअल सो इन दिस इक्वेशन वट वी हैव डन वी हैव रिटर्न द वैल्यू ऑफ ए दिस इज द ए बिकॉज इट इट्स एन इनक्लाइंट शेप प्रॉब्लम सो द एरिया इज चेंजिंग कॉन्टिन्यूसली सो वी हैव टू यूज दिस इंटरपुलेशन फंक्शन फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग एरिया here we have taken the derivative of the approximate solution its ka derivative le liya after taking derivative it looks like this so we will further simplify this equation and we will write the value of r is equal to so the residual will become after simplifying a whole this whole equation and putting the values of w1 we know that w1 is ki value hume yahan bhi pata hai we know the value of l here is 10 right we know the value of w1 was i think 2 and w2 was equal to 1 inch so you can uh, look into the problem example 1.1 aap dekh sakte ho aur values put kar sakte ho so after putting the values and uh, simplifying this problem the residual will become 0.25 minus 0.0125y into c1 plus 2c2y सी टू वाई प्लस थ्री सी थ्री वाई स्क्र माइनस नाइन्टी सिक्स पॉइंट वन फाइव इंटू टेन रेस टू पा माइनस सिक्स सो दिस इज आफ्टर सिंप्लीफाइंग होल इक्वेशन हमने ये रेजिडुअल जो है निकाल लिया नाउ द फोर्थ स्टेप इज Each residual method will require the error to vanish over some selected interval. We will adopt Glerkin's method, right? We were we are going to solve it with Glerkin, Glerkin's technique. So that is called Glerkin method. In this method, what what we do? We will integrate this residual equation of residual. over some interval a b after multiplying it with some shape function or some test function or some weighted function we can use any name weighted function right so this is the integration so we will integrate it by using three different types of because we have three unknown c1 c2 c3 so we will use three different types of test functions to in, and integrate this uh, residual between the extreme intervals of this problem that is from 0 to the extreme intervals of this problem is from 0 to 10 so we will integrate this equation for residual from 0 to 10 and we will put it equal to 0 we are assume, we are saying that we Uh, हम जो रेजिडुअल है ये एरर है उसको हम जीरो पुट कर रहे हैं जीरो बना रहे हैं वी आर मेकिंग एट जीरो वी आर वेनिशिंग द एरर राइट बाय पुटिंग एट बाय टेकिंग द इंटर बाय टेकिंग द इंटीग्रेशन ओवर द फिक्स्ड इंटरवल्स तो लेट्स डू इट जीरो से लेके टेन तक आपका इंटरवल है एंड द शेप फंक्शन विच ग्लर्कन सुजेस्ट इज दैट जो आपके पास जो अप्रोक्सीमेट सोल्यूशन में जो सी C2, C3 के साथ जो वेरिएबल्स यूज हुए थे उन्हीं वेरिएबल्स को आप टेस्ट फंक्शन के तौर पे, दिस इज वॉट ग्लर्किन सजेस्टेड के पहला आप टेस्ट फंक्शन Y ले लें और फिर उसके बाद ये सारी की सारी क्वेश्चन R की रेजिडुअल की हम इसी तरह इसमें लिख देते हैं ये सारी क्वेश्चन मैंने लिख दी सो इज द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इसी तरह दूसरी क्वेश्चन लिखेंगे जीरो से टेन और उसमें जो हम लेंगे टेस्ट फंक्शन वो वाई सुकेयर होगा और इसी तरह ये सारी क्वेश्चन हम यही वाली इक्वेशन सारी हम यहाँ पे भी आर के लिए लिख देंगे और साथ में लिखेंगे डी वाई इसी तरह हम थर्ड इक्वेशन लेंगे जीरो से टेन तक इसको वाई क्यूब के साथ और यही सारी इक्वेशन हम लिख देंगे और इसको हम लिखेंगे वाई डी वाई नाउ हे वी हैव थ्री इक्वेशन वी विल इंटीग्रेट दैम and will simplify them and we will calculate the values of c1 c2 c3 from these equations so after integrating all these three equations we get these three simplified equations from these three equations we will uh, simultaneously solve them to get the values of c1 which is equal to 400.642 into 10 raised to power minus 6 c2 which is equal to 4 into 10 raised to power minus 6 and c3 which is equal to 
जीरो पॉइंट नाइन थ्री फाइव इंटू टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस सिक्स सो वी विल राइट द इक्वेशन विच आर विच इज आर सोल्यूशन सी वन वाई प्लस सी टू वाई स्केयर प्लस सी थ्री वाई क्यूब एंड वी विल पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ सी वन सी टू सी थ्री इन दिस इक्वेशन सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव रिटर्न द इक्वेशन द वैल्यूज नाउ वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ यू फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी विल पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इक्वल्स टू जीरो फॉर दैट वी विल फाइंड यू वन वी विल पुट वाई इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड फॉर दैट वी विल फाइंड यू टू सो बाय पुटिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ वाई इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एंड टेन वी गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ डी फॉर्मेशन एट ऑल फाइव पॉइंट सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेट द डी फॉर्मेशन बायूमिंग अल्यूशन जो हमने पहले किया था वो हमने डायरेक्ट मेथड से किया था यू कैन कंपेयर दिस एज्यूम सॉल्यूशन जो एज्यूम मेथड से हमने जो सॉल्यूशन निकाला है उसको आप डायरेक्ट मेथड से कंपेयर कर सकते हो एंड यू कैन सी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस लेट मी लेट मी कंपेयर सो हियर 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 आर द आंसर्स फॉर द फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर वन पॉइंट वन जब हमने इसको मैट्रिक्स के मेथड से डायरेक्ट मैथड से हमने सॉल्व किया था तो यू कैन नाउ कंपेयर दैट यू वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो here it is also zero u2 is equal to 0.001026 so it is 0.00104 right u3 is equal to 0.0022 u3 is equal to 0.0022 right is tarah u4 or u5 ko bhi aap compare kar sakte hain from both these from here it is written 0.0036 it is also 0.0036 ab 0. U5 is 0.0053 and here it is also 0.0053. And yani up to four decimal place, it is they are equal.